wrap up the team aqua hideout. And then continue to move forward. Tee hee hee. We finally meet again. Hmm? Ah? Uh, is this the first time we've met? Ninkum poop? It doesn't matter. Brace yourself. We'll show you the power of quintuplets. <clears throat> you are challenged by Team Aqua Grunts. Team Aqua Grunts are on the horde of Puchiana. <clears throat> oh, I almost feel bad about this. Body <clears throat> outskirt 43, the city came off the grunts. Oh, no, you got us. Ha ha ha. We lost. It's odd. I can't believe five of us couldn't defeat just one trainer. Did you cheat? Grumble grumble. Think and poop. Stop whining. Our leaders are ahead. You have no chance to defeat them. <clears throat> Max revive. Oh, I knew you'd come. You're the first punk ever to sneak into this hideout and make it this far. I expect nothing less from a crumb like you. But I've got some bad news for you. We already finished completely upgrading the ship. Look at that drill. As long as we got that thing, we could KO the seal over the seafloor cavern with one punch. My bro Archie's in the ship. Come at me. If you take me out fast, you might be able to catch up to him. Before you do, though, we need to settle once and for all who's stronger. You and your sorry Pokemon, or me and my not-so-sorry Pokemon. Who? Ha! I'm heating up. Who? Full on. I'm burning up. Me, you, Pokemon. Mixing it up, dueling. Well, well, well. Let's battle it out until we've got nothing left. Challenged by Aqua Admin Matt. Just about as exactly as much as I figured. <laughs> ha ha ha. Bro, it's all on you now. <laughs> While we were battling it out, my bro Archie finished getting ready. I have only one hope for my bro Archie to finish doing what he sent out to do. That's all. My bro Archie is everything to me. I live to serve my bro. Alright then. You took me out, so I'll give you an idea of what the world will look like if my bro has his way. My bro Archie is headed for the big blue sea that stretches out from Lily Cove City. Deep beneath the surface is the seafloor cavern. That's where the world my bro hopes to create, where the beginnings of the primordial world will be felt. Regular people and Pokemon can't make it there, though. How could you get there? Why don't you look around in towns by the sea and use your own thick head to think about it? Teleporter.
Gusto. Yeah. <clears throat> so now I have to find it. I have a type already. I'm not just that. Okay. Take your partner looking for a ship? I'm sorry, the ferry service is not available at present. Oh, no. Hey, Mr. Briney agreed to join us and lend his knowledge and expertise. Probably get past those whalemen now and just start sailing out. <clears throat> I should have realized that. Waters of deep, deep blue. Pokenap Plus is waterproof. I have a terrible sense of direction, so the Area Nav app is a must have for me. Thanks to it, I can swim away in any direction from Moss Deep City and come home safely. Hey, if you just float in the sea like this, Pokemon come around to play. Swimmer, female, Jenny. So I don't love this. Cozy Buddha 48, and defeated the swimmer female Jenny. Oh, lost at sea.
new Pokemon can dive in the water? Oh, yeah, you should probably not get scared of that. Hmm, if you're riding a Pokemon instead of swimming yourself, I'm so jealous. Swimmer Roland. We have a Celio. 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 Swim rolling. Oh, it's no use. Tentacool. <clears throat> Is that a critical touch? My big sister is a strong Pokemon. Don't cry when you lose. Sis and Bro, Rita and Sam. Pelper and Whiskash. It's your fault we lost, Sam. You're in trouble later. Oh, I'm sorry, sis. Pelper. Mm. 
<clears throat> hey, are you lost at sea? If you can beat my Pokemon, I can guide you through the currents. The challenge by Swimmer Spencer. He's an old star you. enough to where I started, but I'm going to turn around and heal, or fly back and heal, and then swim back and up here again. Fight Poisonous Psychic. I lost my bearings in battle. for a period. <clears throat> no fuck it, stop swimming. Foo foo foo. I dive deep underwater to go deep under cover, plumbing the depths. Depths is where I excel. Challenged by Swimmer Chad. Chad has a baby. Chad on the top. Wow. A stunning 20 height. Should a mango vault? Oh my god. Mm. Oh, a lot of levels. So I'm prepared to 58. 
He's gonna chat. He can't die, see? I need to dive to get to that one. I'm getting tired of swimming, how about a battle? She has a rumor. I think she should be able to attack anything with a CPU one or anything. It's about to send an Azuma now. Will you switch? No. <clears throat> oh, if I had Mega Swamp it out here, he'd be getting speed boost. Zagu to 49. Lottie Esker to 44. No idea you were this strong. Check out this one. What? Hey, do you know what? Do you know what? I don't. Let me explain then. Try using Surf Sharpedo. It'll go zooming so fast and make you feel great. Treasure Hunter's house. Maybe something worth checking out. I'm the diving treasure hunter. I'm the awesome dude who goes deep sea diving to gather treasures resting at the bottom of the seas. You haven't got any treasures for me. If you see any shards like the red shard, you've got to trade them with me. So a red shard gets you a fire stone, yellow thunderstone, blue water stone, and green leaf stone. Okay. That's easy enough. And a good way to get stones without going too hard. I think that's the edge of this. And I should, yeah. We even found a big pearl. Swim north and on steep and see what there is. Stuff all over. I'm almost positive that there's just nothing above on steep there. It's usually how it goes. Nope. A little island up here with a secret base, not on Route 125, so that's not good. 
Not until I've checked out Moss Deep. Started. I'm a champer. I'm a champer. I'm a Just got a canvas this town. Well, Moss Deep, you can see Wild Whalemer. It's called, uh, what is it? Why, why, why Whalemer watching? My little brother says he's gonna find the biggest secret base. Did you know some items can make secret bases seem bigger? Try solid boards and stairs. I got this from Steven, but I don't know what it's good for. I think it's called King's Rock. Do you want it? Yeah. Why do you want it? You're weird. You can keep it, but don't tell Steven I gave it away. Is it really that fun collecting rocks? I don't get it. no one in here. Oh, this is Steven's house. Duh. Hmm, your Swampert. It likes you as much as it likes Pokeblocks. No, it likes you a little bit more than Pokeblocks. My husband measures everything based on Pokeblocks. My husband has autism, maybe. This island space center has been launching huge rockets. A long time ago there were rumors that you could get on the rocket if you did certain things and you would get to see the Oxus and all that. And, or Jirachi. Deoxys. Why well, doesn't Tate and Mossy Jim have very mysterious powers? Their powers are paranormal like psychic type Pokemon. If you have any trouble you may want to visit the gym. What does the gym last? Pokemon that live in the sea and in caves are th and things are really, really good at hiding. If they catch even a glimpse of you, they'll be gone in an instant. Sometimes you really feel like you can sense a Pokemon around, but you still won't be able to find it unless you actually see it with your eyes. You have to spot them first and then sneak up slowly. That's the trick. I'm going to win a whole lot of Link battles, and me and my Pokemon will charm everyone. We'll have tons of fans all over the world. That's my ultimate goal. The gym leaders in this city are a formidable duo. Their combination attacks are like excellent and wow. Okay, I'll take your Pokemon in 50 seconds. The goddamn egg still hasn't hatched. Did I talk to him already? Oh, yeah, I did. Let's try this little hut. When I was young, I traveled the world as a secret base expert. Even now that I've become an old geezer, my passion has not waned. I'm waiting impatiently for a secret base to appear just beyond that door. Seems to be locked. All life needs water to survive, even though it makes its home on land. And all life, having run its course, becomes soil and returns to land. Thus, the waters of the sea are always connected to the land. Yes, like the very shoreline line here. Even found a netball. I've heard, I'd heard from my mates in Lily Cove that the herd of Whalemers has disappeared. Wonder what went down over there. I should probably go in Pokemart. Revives are fantastic. Give one to a Pokemon's fame, that Pokemon will be revived. But be careful, Revive won't restore any PP that's been used up by its moves. Ultra Balls. Lots. Netballs and Dive Balls used to be Moss Deep specialties. A Netball is effective against a Bug type and Water type, but Dive Ball works best on Pokemon at the bottom of the sea. Max Repel can keep weak Pokemon away, and it lasts the longest of all the Repel Sprays. Hey you, quick, quick question, do you want a TM? Yeah. A Tin Quash. That's the TM my, that my sweetie gave me when I proposed, but I'm not a trainer, so I don't know how to use TMs, ha ha ha. <clears throat> That's the gym, not going to that. Yes. Yeah. 
Tippy toes, tippy toes, sneaking up on Pokemon tippy toes. Every gym badge tells the story of a hard won victory against a worthy opponent. I can look at a badge and tell you which Pokemon were with you when you won it. Can I see one of your gym badges? Sure. We'll hear of the stone badge. Marshdown, Poochyana, Talo, Zigzagoon, Surskit, and Beldum. A whole team. You were ready for anything. Oh, I suppose you remember even if you don't show me. From the time she was a small child, my older sister hardly ever spoke. Somewhere along the line, she learned to read the experiences of certain objects. It's a white rock. This rock has special meaning to the people at the Space Center. They put it here as their wish for their rockets to fly safety. When you make a wish, what do you use? Do you wish upon a star? I use a wish tag to make it happen. That's what I do. We even found a revive. Hey there, trainer. Super Rod really is super. Say whatever you want, but this baby can catch Pokemon right off. What do you think? You want one, don't you? Yeah, I do. You bet. You bet. After all, Super Rod is the definition of super. If there's any water, try dropping in your line and see what bites. Oh, yeah. Can I go to this house? Oh, I didn't even realize there was a window there. Oh. Even though I can't see my dear friend in Fortree, a Pokemon carries mail back and forth for us. I'm not lonesome even though we're apart. Lonesome. My little sister's always getting letters from her boyfriend in Fortree. Hmph, <laughs> I'm not jealous, not even a little. Mossy Space Center, the closest place to space. Wouldn't it be nice if this island know the whole world were burgeoning with nature? There's the rocket out there. I'll go down to the launch pad in a second. Gotta go through the whole space center. I'd like to go to space with my Pokemon for a rendezvous in the start. Rendezvous in the starry sky. Some people claim the Pokemon came from space. Could it be true? This rocket, thick. Let me get in here and have a little photo op. A rocket launch demands perfection. Not even a 1% margin of error is allowed. Even if 99% okay. The whole thing is useless if 1% happens to be no good. Despite that, we never stop trying. Why? It's a dream that never ends. Pokemon's local heroes, the Hone Ranger's coexistence force. We fight for the peaceful coexistence of people, nature, and Pokemon. Please enjoy our interactive experiences about space exploit. Space exploration. I didn't even notice that though. I was taking a stroll down at the beach when I found this. It's not anything I need, so you can have it. A sunstone. The Hone region has been famous for its meteor showers for a long time. A giant chunk of metal bursts through the sky and flies into space. It boggles my mind. The rocket was launched safely. That was successful launch number 24. Mossip has many clear days and its wind patterns are stable. That's why it's an ideal location for launching rockets into space. Looks like that's everyone. Let's go check out the launch pit. Oh, finally! You motherfucker. Been waiting for that to happen forever.
Oh. oh man. Right, I can finally take something else into my party. The voyage on a ship is fine, but crossing the sea with Pokemon using Surf? Now that's an exhilarating trip, wouldn't you agree, youngster? I'm go right up to the launch pad, but there's nothing out here. Alright. Now after all this time, we can finally... Oh shit. Oh, here it is. I'm gonna take Beldum with me, I think. I'm gonna look through everything in there. Absol is pretty good, and uh, I can bring it just with you know, the type advantage, but I wanted to do Beldum for a long time. Hmm. Why not just killing my party space? I know Beldum has a lot of catching up to do. Battles hinge on the strength of your spirits. The weak spirited will never win. You challenge by psychic question. No psychic question, the weak spirited will never win. And now Belden's gonna have to level up ten times every five seconds. Cadaver's inner focus, Cadaver's swift swing. What a good use of thing. Belden grew to thirteen. Belden grew to fourteen. I've lost. I must temper my spirit again. And then I can touch the... Okay. I can't get enough of the way you go floating up softly in this gym. You're challenged by Psychic Joshua. Joshua sent out Kadabra. I feel bad for people named Joshua. Not Josh, but the whole shebang Joshua. Well, then grew to 15. Metachan, will you switch? Psychic fighting. Ah. Uh, no. I don't think so. Grew to 16. You too, Psychic Joshua. Oops, I gave you a soft match, too. I'll get an extra battle for the worse. Cool. I 
I'm from Mount Pyre. Taste my power, my po taste the power my Pokemon have attained in the place where spirits of Pokemon slumber. You're challenged by Hexmania Kindra. Hexmania Kindra, son of a Sending Grumpy, will you switch? No. No. Actually, no. Fuck you, Grumpy. I don't think we'll be cheated in. Oh my god. He's just trying to kiss me off. And it's been no karate chop and one hit KO lately. No, it just put itself to sleep. Three turns. Oh, it's gonna have a fucking daily. No. Nope. It's just dumb. And I suppose the fuck ass picks that, doesn't it? Swampert game 1376. Oh, cozy. Zoro grew to 47. Beldum grew to 17. So powerful. Watch me levitate a Pokeball telekinetically. Roar. Sometimes I'm out of sync. Psychic Fritz, son of play doll. Go Swamper. Okay. Play doll is half burning, so I should be able to take it out with safe. Golden grew to 18. I was about to send in Storm and Ace Switch, yes. How about freeze dry, motherfucker? You're kidding me.
Vanilla grew to 53. Swampert grew to 59. Bellum grew to 19. He defeated Fritz. My Pokemon battling skills are out of sync too. I'm getting an ominous feeling about you. <clears throat> You're challenged by Hex Maniac Patricia and her Chime Echo. Mm. This Chime Echo has a little tape. I don't know. I'm going to put a little bit of on it. Because I have a feeling it might. I knew it would have no physical defense on it. Well, I'm good at 20. I knew I would lose. You're a bad omen. What? Beldum is evolving? Now to learn something other than the takedown. Actually, I think this one. I think I'm going to find one that I've had a few minutes, but... Once it becomes Metagross, I can evolve it into shiny Mega Metagross. Congratulations, your Beldum evolved into Matan. Matang wants to learn the move Confusion, however Matang already learns four moves. Maybe. Um... Shiny belt on mine is pretty cool. The Tang wants to learn Metal Claw. Oh, definitely Metal Claw. Um. <clears throat> I'm touch a glowing orb. I think this is it. A little extra battle. Let me see your talent. You're challenged by Psychic Virgil. Psychic Virgil is not the bad guy. Kadabra, more like Kadaver. I shouldn't have used my own cloak last time, at least. Oh, I could have taken it out with anything else. Yeah, excited. Grew to 50. Cozy wants to learn Wild Charge. Do I want to take a recoil move? Ah, uh, looks better than Spark. Cozy learn Wild Charge. It's like Virgil's about to send in Giraffe Ray. Will you switch? No. Here comes the Confused Ray. Giraffe Ray is a normal type. Which makes me look like a type. I'm just a disadvantage. Matangra to 21. He defeated Psychic Virgil. You possess spectacular talent. I don't that one back, can I? No. Okay, they go to the same place, it looks like. You already took this one, right? The Indecisive Lose, that's my warning to you.
Hee hee hee, were you surprised? Hee hee hee, were you surprised that there are two gym leaders? That there are two gym leaders? We're twins, we're twins. We don't need to talk because we can tell what the other is thinking. All in our minds. The combination of ours, can you beat it? You're challenged by leaders Liza, Liza, and Tate. Liza and Tate sent out Lunatone and Soul Rock. I'm sorry, Pikachu. I'm sorry, Pikachu. Oh, wait, no, I can use Muddy Water and not kill Pikachu. And I can flying press Lunatone. Oh yeah, I forgot. Okay. Super effective on both. Both things. Lonnie, I screwed to 45. Matang grew to 22. Our, our teamwork. You can't be helped, you've won, so take this in recognition. Aiden received the Mind Badge from Lands and Tate. Mind Badge has the power to make all Pokemon up to level 80, including those you've received from other people obey you. It also enables Pokemon to use the HM move called Dive, and take this too. TM TM TM04, Calm Mind. Calm Mind comes from relaxing your mind and concentrating. Pokemon Special Attack and Pokemon Special Defense will be heightened by this move. It's a perfect move for Psychic Pokemon. Looks like the bond between you and your Pokemon is far stronger than the bond we share as twins, but you'll go on from here to form even more bonds. That's the future I see for you. There may be a harsh or ordeal ahead for you and your Pokemon, but that's alright. You and your Pokemon aren't alone. You have each other. That's why we want you to face whatever troubles may come your way, head on and full of courage. <clears throat> Wow, what? A pillar of light appeared from the sea. That direction, is that the direction of Route 128? Whoa, dude, seriously, dude. Heh. <laughs> this is the end of the world. Skitty, don't worry, calm down. Skitty! <clears throat> Whoa, that was like a total shocker. What the heck was that? That big fat pillar of light. It totally came out of here, didn't it? Aiden, I heard from Liza and Tate that you visited their gym. Why the fuck would you hear that? I was thinking of trying to catch you while you were in the area, but then this happened. We should talk. Let's go to my place. Ah, yes. I suppose I should welcome you to my home. Please forgive the rather sparse decor. Now, where to begin? Let us take a moment to understand what is happening to our world right now. That rumbling that shook the earth just now, that eardrum rupturing explosion we heard? They are proof that a seal which has, well, was long hidden deep under sea has been undone at last. A super ancient Pokemon that has been sealed deep beneath Route 128 since the ancient times. It slept until now in the seafloor cavern. The entrance to that cavern was sealed by the power of a certain Pokemon, all in an effort to keep any human or Pokemon from ever breaching it. But now it appears that the scheming of the terrible team has undone the seal. There's no doubt that they intend to revive the super ancient Pokemon, and once they do, it seems they hope to make its power their own. Aiden, if that team obtains the power of the super ancient Pokemon, it will upset the balance of nature in this world. A crisis unlike any other before will befall every living thing on this planet. I plan to do everything in my power to quell this situation. That is my duty. But there is a limit to what I can do with my power alone. That's why I'm asking for your help. I have great faith in your abilities. 
Lend me your lend me your strength to help put a halt to these teams' mad ambitions. With you and I, our Pokemon all working together, we will overcome the disastrous turn of events. I don't think it is out of the question. I will trust you with this. HM7 dive. I have to room swamp it a little more. If you use dive, you'll be able to dive to the ocean floor with your Pokemon. And take this so you can stay with your Pokemon even in the depths of the ocean. Aiden obtained the Devon Scuba Gear. If you were to use dive in the correct stretch of water along Route 128, I believe you should be able to reach the entrance to Seafloor Cavern. I will join you when I finish my duties. Please do what you can to stop Team Aqua and Team Magma until then. I am I am trusting you to do this for me. Wait, stop Team Magma as well? Isn't Team Magma helping me? And everyone seems pretty calm again. Well, let's rip this bandaid off. I can get taught to Latias. I've ruined Latias even more. Doesn't even get fucking stabbed from this terrible movie. <sighs> yes. Mm. Oh, okay, muddy water. We're forgetting muddy water. Rock Slide gives it coverage. Earthquake is too good to lose. And I'm stuck with Surf, so. That's what we're doing. In case I was on that one point. Okay, we're at 128. have to go through Route 127. <laughs> Come Swampert! Fishing, I have attained a state of the calm serenity. Please allow me to demonstrate. <clears throat> Challenged by Fisherman Jonah and his love disc. Tang grew to 23. And Tang wants to learn pursuits? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think so no on that one. Relicant, please switch. Alright, yeah. yeah. This is half rock. I think I can just hit it with a surf to take it down. Two neutral bombs on 
37. Especially for a physical defense. Come on, man. No, you can't. Zero grid of 48. Zero on swing swing. No, that's a terrible one. Vanilla grid of 54. Vanilla on swing and hail. Ooh. Ah, uh, no. Yeah. You're full of this already. Hail's not gonna help you too much. Though I've lost, my heart remains calm. Oh man. The island is a fisherman. Hidden found a zinc. I know it's on that upper branch. Whoops, don't tell me I snagged the surfing Pokemon. Challenged by Fisherman Henry, Henry and his tennis crew. This motherfucker's gonna have confused around it, so I better take it down this time. I can just dive on it. And Tangru to 24. I can't keep up. Well, hey, this is a match between a Pokemon fan and a fishing boat. Fisherman Roger sent out Whaleman. Okay. Please don't dive. Gonna be severely annoying. I think we can keep you that speed buff. Next one. Swampert grew to 60. He's about to send in Sharpedo where you switch. Put the hit. He's causing Sharpedo pain over. Cozy grew to 31. Cozy grew to 51. No, my line's all taken. The party's over. And there goes my camera whining about how it's low on dollars. So I got a lot of that. Bird Pokemon have excellent vision. They spot prey from great heights. Send out Dodrio. 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 Trio, 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 Trio. Rock Slug. Tangrid 25. He's about to send in Zatu. Will you switch? Yes. I will save some of Swampert's rock slides. You can go for the easy hit with Pikachu. Ooh, I give up. Oh. Lost Deep City Route 128. Damn. I keep going back and forth in which direction I want to go. Also, check out that diving spot, I guess. 
These trainers can even appear in the sea. Yes, even those who can't swim. Good challenge by Ace Trainer Hisato and his pincer. Just barely. Oh my god, I'm not too close. I was recalling. Okay. The Tang wants to learn bullet punch. No, no, no. I'm gonna fall in. what it looks like in this game to go in the water. Doing some dive enemies. Go globe, globe, go globe. Target sighted, I'll take them down. Challenged by scuba diver Javier and his relic. Go swamp it. And I don't have a model for you because because it's underwater, I'll get quite a little bit of new stuff. You can skip you pressing the button on your mega watch. You feed scuba diver Javier. Glob. I do like that they darkened his sprite because he only appears underwater. Also, for giving me a scuba suit, I sure look pretty normal. Let's see this, goes. this is farther to the left than I was before. And that connects me to Route 126. Are there any drowning Pokemon or trainers here? I've taken upon myself to go on swim patrol. Good challenge by triathlete Jalen on his tentacle. Come on, right side. There we go. Present time to a finger. You could try athlete Jalen. Wow, I think I might drown. Everyone in the Pokemon world is a real drama queen. I'm wearing my swimsuit under my shirt. The shirt makes me makes it plain that I'm an ace trainer. Ace trainer Claudia sent out snow ants. This is an interesting team. I like it. We're gonna see a lot of snow ants. Closing snow and protecting itself. I don't know, I like the warm rocks out. It's super effective, the opposing snow on Fainted. And Tang to 27. He's about to send in Mass Duran, will you switch? Vanilla Ice should be able to. 
took pretty good hit on that guy. Oh wow. My physical attack fell. Vanilla grew to 55. Wally Ass grew to 46. Guard split. No. He's about to send in dust blocks. Uh. Oh, ghost beats psychic. Um. When in doubt, some swamp it back in. Defeated Claudia. Water splash shaman. Alright, let's check out the rest of the underwater section then. Move on. I don't think there's a whole lot under here, there usually isn't. I saw that diver, I'll get it in a second. Already checked over there. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Hey, have you heard of marine snow? Free diver Kaylin. An earthquake. It was nice. I know it's a to take a hit. <laughs> Swamp Group Group 61. That's your team gained experience. Zero Group 49. Attain Group 28. Bloop. Do it. Sea floor cavern. And float back up. Submarine Explorer 1 is painted on the hull. It seems to be the submarine team Aqua stole from Slateport. Look how the same Pokemon appear in the water here that appear everywhere. Alright, Team Aqua, you guys are being assholes. <clears throat> a wild gravel up here. I honestly don't think I have a gravel. Now to watch it both ham on me while I try to catch it. Nice. Nickname to the gravel you caught, yes. Smeagol. 
because of the balls in the corner. Oh, huh. I see why that was necessary. Gold bat. I don't have a gold bat either. Come on, the ball. Sometimes these boulders contain stones. This one contains an ether. Wild gold battlefield. Go stamp it. Rock slides a little bit over the table. Might as well hit for super effective when you can. I have no time for children, run along home now. Team off the ground, turn out Carvana. to go to 52. He's about to send an ID in up, but he switched. Definitely not. Matang go to 29. Matang wants to learn a new car. No. You feed too much of grump. I want to go home. The submarine is small, so it doesn't make you sore all over, does it? You challenged by Team Rock Grunt. Team Rock Grunt sent a gold back. I'm going to make it to the mega, though. I think I can do this. Good, good. You feed the team off the ground. Losing makes me sore, too. Wild gravel up here. And then this one will have sturdy punch.
Keep them back too. Alright. Um. Actually, this. My camera's kind of complaining that I'm not done yet. So. I'm actually gonna fly back to. Uh, of a waste. Alright, we'll look at this room next time once I give the camera some time to charge and all that.